Hi all and welcome back to the channel. There was a message on the forums referenced this mod uh, and its utilisation within combined arms. There was a bit of a concern that if you didn't allocate the group a target to start within the mission editor that you could drive it but then it wouldn't reload. Well, I'm going to show you the process for actually reloading. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a group set up with the two vehicles in. So I've got that set up here, new vehicle group 3, uh, it's got the Scud B launcher and it's also got the support truck as well. So it's all part and parcel of the same group. So let's go into sim and I'll show you the exact procedure for making this work in combined arms from the very start. Okay so here we are in sim, so now I'm going to go into the Scud launcher and I'm going to drive it by selecting the tank. Here I am in the pit. I'm going to drive for a little way now uh, and then I'm going to stop and show you the method. So let's do that now, I'll stick it into gear and we'll start driving. And what I'll do is I will stop on that bridge just ahead. So I need to make sure that the truck is following me because it's not at the moment. So I'll choose the option 3. Then we'll go to option 7. Okay so I've now seen that the truck is following me which is great. So I can go back to the pit. Option 1. I'll cut this here and I'll come back when I'm actually physically set up on the bridge. Okay, here we are on the bridge. Let me take it out of gear. Go to the F10 menu. Option 10. What I'll do now is I'll zoom out. You can see I'm on the bridge and my support truck is with me. I'm going to add a target. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to make that target good data. So click on there, click on there. That's all we need to do at this particular point. We now press start fire. We'll go to option 7 to make sure that it's started. Option 7. There we go, the feet have started lowering. So during this process what you need to do now is go to the F10 menu. You need to zoom in on the vehicles. You need to select the support truck and then you need to click on the tank icon to be able to drive it. So in real life the launcher would not be manned during the launch cycle. So it's kind of realistic. So we'll wait for the missile to launch and then I'll show you the next step. There we go. Let's go to the F10 menu again. Zoom out. Move up to the first target point. Click on it and press stop fire. Then go back to your vehicle and wait for the missile to load. There we go, the arms come back up, the missiles in situ, and we can then, as soon as it's lowered the arm, go back into the launch vehicle and drive it. So I'll show you that next. Okay, the launch feet have now fully retracted, so we go to the F10 menu again, zoom back out, zoom in on the vehicles, select the launch vehicle, click drive and we end up back in the pit again which means we can now put it into gear and drive to another location and fire off another missile. So that's how you get the support truck to add a la another launchable missile to the launcher. So I hope that was useful and enjoy using it fully combined arms without allocating it a target in the mission editor. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Ciao for now.